Hi everybody. Hi everybody. So we recently made a video that was all about how a Filipina can know if her foreign boyfriend is the one, right? Well today we're going to flip it. Today we're going to talk about how a foreign man that is getting to know a Filipina will know if she's the one. And just like before, there are three pretty important things that you really got to look for to really have that understanding and we're going to talk about that right now. Okay, so love, how did you know that I'm the one? How did I know that you were the one? Yeah. Oh, you're just so darn pretty. <laughs> That's not the answer, guys. <laughs> doesn't matter how pretty she is, right? That doesn't make her the one, mm -hmm. okay? The one thing that really made me first feel like you could be the one, right? Mm -hmm. Was I never felt awkward talking with you, right? Okay. It was just natural. Mm -hmm. um, I can be a little bit introvert sometimes, right? Okay. So. Sometimes, you know, I get a little bit awkward when I'm trying to have a conversation with somebody or trying to get to know somebody. It's kind of that boring, like, hey, what kind of food do you like? <laughs> you know, you know that awkward silence? You know, you're, you're on a date and it's like, um, what are your hobbies? What, what, do you like, to, like, I just never know what to talk about, yeah. right? With Angelica, it was just effortless. There was no awkwardness. There was no, never any silence. We just, we couldn't shut up. We just <laughs> never stopped talking. So, you know, the first sign really is she quickly became my best friend, hands down. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't want to talk to anybody else. I mean, my guy friends, I'm like, Phew, she's way funnier than them, okay? Um, but I really just couldn't get enough of just talking with her because it was so much fun. And I can't stress enough how important that is. You know, I'm sure there's plenty of men watching this right now that you've, you've been in relations before, maybe you've even been married before, where there's just a lot of just pain and just, mm -hmm. you, you know, it's maybe it's, it wasn't a good relationship, right? And you just, everything was just really hard and kind of forced, right? You know, when you know that she's the one, you don't, you're not really forcing it. You're just, it's natural. You're never feeling uncomfortable. There's, there's no awkwardness. You're just being yourself. And she quickly becomes your best friend. And I think that's the number one thing you got to look for when you're trying to determine if she's the one, mm -hmm. All right? Right. My number two for me was you wanted me to be an active part in not just your family's life, but your friends. You're like you wanted me to be friends with your friends, right? Of one of the first things we did when I met her for the very first time was, mm -hmm. you know, we hung out the first night together. But I think the second night we were together, we were hanging out with her friends. Friends, yeah. And I loved that. Mm -hmm. You know, I loved getting to know her friends. Um, and I'm so glad that she wanted that. There was no like, well, I don't want to introduce him yet because you know, I'm just not sure. You know, when she wants to introduce you to not only her family, but her friends and everybody that she loves and, and cares about and is close to, that's a pretty good sign, you know, that she's the one. And more importantly, she also wanted to really be part of my family's life. I didn't ask her to do this, but she reached out to yeah. my aunts, my cousins, my mother, my sister. Neither. She talked with my kids, you know, and just loved them. I could sense that, that she loved talking with my mother. It wasn't forced. Yeah. Like she just wa really wanted to be part of that. Mm -hmm. You know, and that made me really feel like, you know, she was the one. And the third thing is really how you kind of made me feel respected. And a woman that does respect you as a man, that's a keeper. You know, she respects who you are. I'm not saying that she's never going to criticize you. She's never going to say mean things to you. You're never going to argue with you. Okay. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is by her respecting you, you by default start thinking about her feelings more than you start thinking about your own mm -hmm. because she shares that respect for you. You know, so it's a mutual respect for each other is really what happens. So you get that sense that, you know, she respects me and, and I respect her and I love her for that. You know, that, that's, that's a pretty big sign. Um, and if you want to go the complete opposite of that is, you know, game playing, game playing uh -oh. is a major sign of disrespect. Mm -hmm. 
You know, if there's one thing that would turn me off from a woman, more than anything in the world, it's, it's game playing. It's, it's doing things, if she were to have done things just to intentionally make me mad. You know, a few things come to mind like blocking me on Facebook or just doing childish things that people do sometimes to their boyfriends or girlfriends just to kind of, you know, get a little dig on them, right? They just want to make them mad. Yeah. You know, saying hurtful things with the intention of just wanting to hurt me, right? You know, if, if you really want to know if she's the one, generally they're not a game player. They're going to look at things the way they are, yeah. you know, and not try to do things to hurt the other person intentionally, right? We all get in arguments, you know, we all criticize each other. Sometimes, you know, we're always gonna have little disagreements where, yeah. you know, where we get a little pride and, you know, we get the pain in the ass syndrome going on. Um, but those things are gonna happen. But at the end of the day, there's mutual respect for each other. You both come back to a, a good place. There was never any intentional hurting, you know? Um, disagreements, yes, but intentional, like, you know, I'm gonna do this because he didn't call me today or because of this or that, no. So those are three really important things that you need to think about. And I'm sure there are many more, okay? Mm -hmm. But we really wanted to focus in on the, on the big things, right? And if you focus on those three things, then kind of everything else should be falling into place too. And you really shouldn't be questioning yourself if she's the one. You'll just know that she's the one. Mm -hmm. That's all for today. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please hit the subscribe button yeah. and that bell notification. And until next video, keep it real. real.